The violin, unlike the guitar or other plucked string instruments, is the embodiment of the string instrument family played with the bow. Some of the greatest music in the world owes much of its beauty to the magnificent instruments. Such music may be the harmony of a powerful orchestra with multiple groups of violins playing together. Its beauty may also be created by a great master playing alone in an audience. Perhaps it's because of its fundamental role in an orchestra, the inspiration and emotion that brings the audience to hear its powerful romantic sound. The instrument story of the long journey of the violin can be traced back as far as the Big Bang. The causes for the Big Bang remains a mystery. However, it created time, space, and the building blocks for everything in the known universe, including energy and matter. The Big Bang was a stepping stone to the creation of stars, which led to the chemical components that are present within life forms here on Earth. What's in a violin are composed of 50% carbon, 42% oxygen, 6% hydrogen, 1% nitrogen, 1% calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. When life was brought about on Earth, trees, which later become one of the most essential ingredients in the making of the violin, came to be. Each part of the violin is made from different pieces of wood. The wood types used in violin making are maple, spruce, ebony, boxwood, willow, and rosewood. Usually the back, ribs, neck, and scroll are made of maple, while spruce is used for the top blocks and linings. Ebony is used for the fingerboard, pegs, tailpiece, and an end pin because it is the strongest of all light woods. Boxwood is sometimes substituted for ebony because it is much easier to find. Many violin makers are using North American broadleaf maple. This wood can produce as good of a sound as any of the other woods previously used if it is properly aged and may add to the tone quality. The sound you hear a violin producing is a result of the air vibrating and escaping out of the F holes of the instrument. The violin strings are not actually made out of actual cat gut, but cat gut was made from the walls of various animal intestines, Gen generally sheep or goat intestines are preferred, but occasionally other intestines are used, such as pigs or cows. Two instruments, which were made before the violin, were the fiddle and the rebec. The violin was collectively thought off of those instruments, having a different sound than them. The violin was made in Italy around the year of 1555. Most of its major changes happened during the 18th and 19th centuries, creating the now modern violin of today. The modern violin is a stringed musical instrument having four strings tuned a fifth of a pitch apart. It is the smallest and highest tuned member of the family of string instruments, which includes the viola, cello, and double bass. The violin is the most modern embodiment of string musical instruments played with a bow. Like the guitar and other plucked string instruments, bowed instruments date from antiquity. Although its precise origins are not completely understood, it is estimated to be evolved during the mid-16th century in northern Italy. In addition to perhaps being the maker of the first true violins, Andrea Amati was the first patriarch of the Cremona School of Violin Making. During the next 150 years, other members of the Amati family and their fo followers, who included Antonio Stradivari several hundred years ago, both as a musical instrument and as a work of art. During the 17th century, violin making spread to all the other countries of Europe, and in the 18th and 19th centuries to the rest of the world. Although violins have been and are being turned out in lar large numbers by factories in Europe and Asia, most fine violins are handmade by individual, by individual craftsmen using essentially the same methods employed by classical Italian makers several hundred years ago. The violin has brought together different genres over the years, being able to use its various sounds for musical purposes. Some of these genres include country, jazz, etc., etc. It's brought together different civilizations and cultures through music. In the past, having an instrument such as the violin was considered being wealthy. As the popularity of the violin grows, more of these instruments are produced. It has been adopted into many different styles of music. Violin players have developed new playing techniques to complement 
new genres, as well as it can be sometimes modified to fit the needs of new genres. For instance, violins are made today can produce sound electronically by using amplifiers and microphones, eliminating the need for a sound box. In brief, the violin has evolved and has been modified until the 21st century to change the sound quality of the instrument. Today, the violin comes in many shapes, sizes, and forms, such as the electric violin. They still have the same purpose as they did before, which was to entertain, but now there are a multitude of ways to express playing the violin. Who knows what the future of the violin holds as technologies become more complex? We can only guess that violins will continue to be popular and be innovated in other ways, for better or for worse.